it was an un unbelievable uh, victory by India. India beating Pakistan by four wickets off the last ball. Could you believe it? There could not have been a better start to India to the 2022 ICC Men's T20 World Cup campaign. And who else to guide India to victory than Virat Kohli? What a brilliant knock he played, remaining unbeaten and guiding India to a last ball sensational victory. This is G. Krishnan at the MCG, still at the media box. And with me are SS Ramaswamy and G. Vishwanath to talk about their opinion and what turning point was. SSR, we just heard uh, Rohit Sharma call Virat Kohli's innings as not just his best innings but also India's best. Have you seen a better innings in your entire career than this? It was an incredible, incredible innings from one of the top performers in world cricket. Uh, remember, just if, uh, one year or slightly more than that, uh, Virat Kohli was not in the greatest of form. But after he stepped down from the captaincy, I think he has gone back to the whole Virat Kohli, the Virat Kohli of all. And today he showed how good he is in chasing. Like Rohit Sharma said, he's one of the best chasers uh, in world cricket now. And, and uh, remember, we were 31 for 4. We were just nowhere in the picture. And in the press box, we are just talk, <laughs> talking among themselves. Is it possible? Uh, to win from this situation and we all came to the conclusion that only Virat Kohli could do it and he did it but with great support from Hardik Pandya he, he, you can't forget him, he played a damn good inning he, paid, he, he didn't uh, really try to hit the ball the, uh, like he generally does at the end of the innings but he played second fiddle that was the ideal partnership and then when India lost a few wickets and again the pressure was on the uh, uh, Indian team but somehow uh, it, it all turned in, in India's favour. Remember the last ball, uh, I think the Pakistan uh, left arm spinner, he was under tremendous pressure. Uh, like we, uh, Rohit Sharma said, spinner bowling the last over he is always under pressure and he, you, you show, you, we, we saw it, how he cracked under pressure, he bowled a wide ball uh, and then a no ball and we got, uh, there were three buys so that Kohli could come on strike and he hit a six of a full toss. Imagine bowling a full toss at that, in that situation, that was, that was only because of pressure and then Ashwin came and he just lofted the ball over the infield and they got the uh, winning run. It was tremendous victory and uh, like Rohit Sharma said, this has given the team, this will give the team a lot of confidence going ahead in the tournament. Sir, we saw uh, Hardik Pandya play a crucial uh, knock today and give uh, Virat Kohli an invaluable support. But Hardik Pandya, the bowler, he was, wasn't he crucial uh, with the ball? taking wickets uh, and uh, reducing Pakistan to a total which was finally achievable by India. Yeah, the first two over the uh, pa Pandya went for a lot of runs. But he changed his uh, strategy like Rohit Sharma said. And uh, the last two overs, the, the final two overs of his uh, faced India three crucial wickets. And at the top, in the beginning, Arsteep Singh bowled extremely well. And that was also praised by Rohit Sharma in his post-match press conference. Arshdeep Singh, Bhuvneshwar Kumar uh, and uh, Mohamed Shami, all three bowled very well. Uh, Akshar Patel had an off day today, but the wicket was not favourable for, for spin bowlers. Uh, it, was, it was a pace bowlers track today at the MCG. So Vishay, what a sensational finish for India, what a start to the uh, World Cup campaign. What are your uh, first thoughts? Yeah, see, to start with any India-Pakistan match is always interesting, exciting. and uh, But this one was a real uh, uh, humdinger or a cliffhanger, I would like to say, because it, India was virtually not in the game, actually. The la if you're going to see the full 40 overs, the last three overs, they, they need to score 48 runs. In the last over, they need to score 16 runs. 
but then the unyielding attitude of virat kohli and hardik pandya uh, just you know uh, <clears throat> took the match away from uh, pakistan and there are a lot of you know ups and downs also in the la- even in the last over there was a no ball bowl there was a wide bowl and uh, finally you know it was a uh, one has to give credit to the 130 runs partnership between uh, virat kohli and uh, hardik pandya they dragged the team from 31 for 4 to in that partnership and given outside chance of winning as rohit sharma said in the press conference they were far too behind the game at, at the end of the 13th over but finally as it turned out you know uh, they, they started hitting sixes against their top seamers who actually troubled in the indian opener that day and uh, it, it's one of the unbelievable as you said to say rightly it's an incredible match uh, and uh, we will have to give a uh, great large substantial credit to virat kohli for the way he remained unbeaten actually and it was a joy to see Uh, the last final stroke played by Ravichandran Nashvi it was a straight bat it was a straight down the ground shot and the single you know he led the ball the previous ball for a wide and uh, with your own level turns actually and uh, finally he took the big shot and this was a boy joy to someone like you know uh, Virat Kohli he played a dug in seals in and also uh, for the entire team in the dugout and also the thousands of indian fans were from the state Can we talk more about the partnership uh, between uh, Virat Kohli and uh, Hardik Pandya? Well, uh, I'm one of the fortunate uh, journalists to see, you know, 1983 when India were down at the dumps against the Babri League match for the Asian World Cup. Kapil Dev, you know, farmed the strike and make 175 and beaten with the uh, lower order batsmen with Bini and the Kirmani and all. And I've seen a, n- a number of winning partnerships like this, but today I think it's in 2020, you know, it's uh, Hey, uh, Virat has played a lot of 100 matches. Uh, this fellow has played a lot of matches, the IPL matches for 15 years. They know the arithmetic well. But so important in T20 is the arithmetic, the number of runs required, who's bowling what, the, the the nature of the pitch, the behavior of the pitch, the change in nature of the pitch. And finally, they did not give up actually. Even when the uh, 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 the run rate was exacting, demanding, a tough task, a stiff task. They still made it. They were very. It was a very calculated uh, effort from both of them. But full marks to uh, both uh, Virat and uh, uh, Hardik Pandya. And both, 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 both are good players across all formats. And uh, they know the cricket well. They could, and that's that's the reason they actually were able to take India past the finishing line. So finally, GV, uh, your last word on uh, uh, the, the match t- t- today. See, the even even flow of uh, the entire match was exciting to watch. If you could see that uh, India started very well after electing, uh, winning the toss and uh, electing to field, and uh, Ashdi struck in the very first ball, dismissing the Pakistan captain for a not, and that uh, start triggered a lot of interest going forward into the Pakistan innings and thereafter. We we contained them, you know. Actually, uh, Pakistan uh, added up 100 runs in the last 10 overs. We got to see 99 runs they added. Similarly, India also lost wickets in the initial stages, and thereafter, uh, Virat Kohli and uh, Hardik Pandya, you know, stabilized the innings, put on consolidated the innings before taking them to victory. The entire, if you, if you want me to uh, sum up the entire thing, it was right through exciting because. of the ebb and flow of the fortunes for both the teams yes yeah. sir we finish off uh, with you tonight uh, uh, with a the word there was so much of uh, hype about uh, now india uh, being threatened by the presence of mere presence of shahin shah afridi but he didn't uh, do well so how do you look at that shahin shah afridi tried to bowl the yorkers but it turned into full toss in, in the in his first over and india i think uh, he didn't get the same amount of uh, yeah the same uh, help that he got when he uh, in the last t20 world cup uh, but harish rauf bowled very well he he tried to uh, run through the indian uh, batting order but virat and uh, hardik pandya <coughs> just stemmed the rout with their century partnership friends it was virat uh, all the way today it was india all the way and 
For your information, Virat during his knock of 82 not out today has become the highest run getter in T20 internationals, moving past none other than his captain Rohit Sharma. So we have Virat Kohli at number one and Rohit Sharma at number two among the run getters in T20 internationals, in all of T20 internationals. Thank you. Good night. Until next time. Bye bye.